Welcome to Valheim, my name is Nilaus and this is a build video where I'm going to be making a nice comfortable throne room bedroom in our base. First we're just going to be having a little run around the base just to get a sense of what it looks like. This is my base that I build over on Twitch. I'm streaming this uh, on Twitch TV slash Nilaus. I'm streaming it about two to three times a week depending on sort of what other things are here. Uh, the idea is that I have a city block based and every city block will be sort of having a, a separate purpose. Uh, we are just preparing here for a construction by Getting, building the forge and the stone cutter we've gathered a lot of stone a lot of wood all the things we need for construction so we can focus in this video on the construction part and i'll be guiding through what i want to do now at this point in uh, sort of the game progression wise we have completed uh, the mountain area that means we have access to stone and iron and silver but we don't have access to tar so uh, no uh, dark wood yet now of course we can always upgrade it with dark wood as we get it but i kind of like the idea that i built a building completed with the tech i have available and then the next one can be sort of uh, using more tech uh, for for what we want uh, this building is built on a slope, as you can kind of see here. Uh, this will give you sort of an, an essential, or give me sort of a natural contour to it and kind of make it a bit more interesting what, what it's going to look like. Uh, I tried to sort of, even though we are constrained by uh, by the city block size, I wanted to make every building uh, slightly different, like a round tower here or the little inn we have or the uh, storage area. So different uh, different purposes for different things, sort of constrained it. And we're just going to make the staircase a little bit closer because then I have a little bit more room and then it'll follow this natural uh, terrain up here. Uh, it's very important that all of this remains blue so that I, um, <laughs> so that we can keep building on top. The objective of this is to build a big, one big open room and sort of have at the top of the staircase a throne room and that will be sort of the, the challenge here. So we're now up to the right height and that should be sort of the right height and then we can start making sort of more of a flat area here. So it'll have basically two floors. Basically it'll have a, a floor, well, a ground floor and then it'll have, okay, we are running out of materials. And it'll have the ground floor and then it'll also have a, a sort of the top floor where we'll be at the level where we have the throne and we will have at that point also um, a throne and a bedroom. That's kind of what we want at the top level. Yeah, and we are, every time we run out of materials, we just easily go back here to all the stuff that we have uh, gathered and got ready for 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 this uh, session here, a construction session. So I will be uh, basically making uh, guides here on YouTube once in a while, whenever we, uh, we I have something interesting, either some exploration or some build uh, like this uh, build here. And now I've moved uh, my forge and my, what's it called? It's called a stone cutter up here so that we can we can continue upwards. This will be the second floor, and then of course it has to go up, and uh, we always need to have a door right behind the, the throne. I know it's not safe from a sort of a backstabbing perspective, but being a single player game, at least with the way I play it, then it doesn't really matter. No one's coming, going to come in and backstab us here. There we go. We have now built the sort of the ground level, and we're going to start making sort of the contours of the tower. And we'd like to make it, well, I'm not going to make it round, but I'm definitely not going to make it sort of square. And for that, I make one in here so I can just push it a little bit out. If we look at this, then I'll build it there. Uh, there. And then I can build the big block next to it. And then here it's almost ready, almost a good fit. <laughs> There'll be a little gap here, but I'll keep this sort of the front side to be the tight one. And then the side one will be the one where there's a little, I allow there to be a little gap. And we again build here and then Oops, that was the ring correct one. And in this one, I'll make it again. You can see that it sort of slides back and forth a little bit. Now, whenever you build these kind of things with this big uh, blocks here, then it's really easy to just make a just a giant solid thing that just it gets really boring very very easily. Uh, so the challenge is very much to come up with a good way that you can you can build things and still make it sort of interesting. Uh, this one I can't really build. Oh, I can I guess I can build it right now. And that will get us up in a little bit higher. So now we basically have the contours. I'll just make that overlapping and it should be fine. Uh, we can then start working it a little bit higher. We need to figure out sort of how high do we want the building to be. And there are too many snap points here to uh, to get make sure that we have to make sure that we get it right. And then we just continue to build it up here. We need to figure out how 
high do we want to make it? This is not enough, so we make it even higher. And then you can let's see, this is a nice height up here, but then it gets to be really tall at the at the other end. Uh, and that's going to be a bit of a challenge sort of supporting it. But uh, with building stone, then we should be pretty good. We're going to do some more reinforcement later on as we get all the way up to the highest possible areas. And as always with these things, there's just snappy, snappy uh, getting. Up. So we we're actually getting really close to sort of building the contours of this. It looks, uh, it starts to look a little bit like a tower now or a big a throne room. So now we want to make the windows and I have a really good plan for the windows here. We're going to make uh, these pillars on the side so that we have sort of a two meter spot in the middle. And then I'm going to use the door. If you look at this, then it can only snap to the edges. But if you put a door in, then you can actually get it to snap to exactly the middle by then placing it next to the door. And that means we can have a, this door frame in the middle. And we're going to do the same thing for the other locations as well. Build these out here. Uh, build the pillars on the side. Just making sure that they are good. Yeah, that's not, well, that, I think that was actually correct. Yeah, it has to be it has to be a little gap, unfortunately. And then we build the door in in there and we can build the pillar next to it and then we can just get this uh, up and running i don't know why i didn't like that just making absolutely sure that we get it the right place okay now it is in the middle and you can then build here and that's kind of how i do want to do the frame so that will be our windows we just need to make sure that i i tried actually using glass because we have a glass since it's from uh, after our mountain area but what i uh, don't really like is um is yeah the glass just makes it Makes you try to run through it and bump your head into the glass window. That's kind of sad. So uh, don't uh, don't like that idea. So we'll we'll do something else that makes it uh, sort of more sturdy and looks good. So we have these windows. They are going to be everywhere. I uh, also built these stairs. These are just basically scaffolding just to make sure that we can keep building. You can see how fragile it becomes up there. We'll take the top level out and start to become orange. That's not a problem as long as it's orange for wood, uh, for stone. And then we can then start making wood on top. And the wood will actually have a solid foundation, even if it's built on top of some stone that's um, that's uh, orange or red even. As long as it doesn't collapse, then uh, whatever wood we build on top of it is just going to be just fine. And we built, continue to build these uh, window frames. And then afterwards, we will be building uh, the wood what is goes inside these window frames. Now that the window frames are all done, we can then get started on sort of the next part and that's uh, gonna be here by the door. We also want to make it kind of the same way. Uh, we also use the door to just get the middle of this location and then build it up on the side. And then we built a pillar up here in the middle. And we'll need to go up to get the rest of the way up. Here, and then uh, we'll make it open so it comes a little bit like a gate here and then it'll all make sense in a little bit what I want to build for all of this there we go that looks good and we have the window frames and also the door frame and it looks really nice uh, as it is right now the next thing we want to do is then start using way too much iron for this uh, the this build it's gonna haunt us later on when we are when I want to use the iron when I realize that all of the Plains material need iron and not black iron, then uh, it's just sad to see that there are there's so much iron being used here. But oh well, there's more out in the world, we can grind that. Uh, this thing gives us a really nice look, but it does more than just give it a really nice look because as this frame goes up, this will this uh, iron grid will also help on stability up, uh, up top, and that's uh, actually super important as we uh, continue sort of going up uh, from here because we need to get it all the way up and even more up than uh, than what it is but with that at this point we can actually see that we have uh, we've built everything up to sort of the uh, let's say the ceiling level and then the question is just what are we going to do afterwards so i think it's time for us to start working on uh, getting the roof in place and uh, we need to get a little staircase to get up there it just makes sense and once we are up here we are going to have to guess. so this obviously if i could then i sh i would want to make it with the uh, dark wood uh, ceiling because it just looks so much better or not ceiling roof uh, but uh, we don't have that yet we can always replace it later on but uh, so far we just have to make do with what we have and that is just the normal thatch roof and we built the corner and it just gives us a little bit of sense of what i want uh, this whole thing to look like uh, we are also just going to make which is 
kind of representing a gutter around, around the, uh, on the edge of the roof, but it's not quite. And then we'll just uh, continue to build it all the way around here as uh, as we can. Build it over here to the corner. Then we're going to have to do sort of this little trick in the corner as well to sort of make it just slide it off by half a uh, half a tile or one meter. And then as we move, we're going to have to snap from the other side here. As we move towards this side, and uh, that's not going to work. It's not working from from over here. Yeah. They, from the side, I want to move it all the way up. I don't want to sort of have a... Yeah, I, I want it to have a nice front uh, here. And, uh, well, just more, 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 more. Built even more here. And uh, as we build three levels of the flat roof, then I build two levels here of the tall one. I think it's just it's just basically to break, to break the monotony of, uh, uh, of this uh, roof tiles here. And as we go closer, you can see that, well, even though they look bluish but as soon as they figure out what they're like they are going to be very red you can see all of these are red this is absolute maximum we can strain this and as we try building things on top uh, they are marked on top of something that's red so they are not going to be super happy about it uh, we're going to be making this uh, edge here and then uh, you can hear that they start to start breaking up top here there we go they start breaking so that is uh, not working to build up here uh, yet at least but this is also kind of showing this because as soon as we build the iron grid inside then it'll actually be fully supported up here and we can uh, we can build that and the next thing we want to do is go inside and then we can put here already these uh, stone pillars start supporting the roof a lot better and getting just the Getting the iron grid all the way up is just going to help uh, tremendously as well. Yeah, and just more support and then go back to the iron grid. Here, yeah, and as we go a little bit further up here, get the iron grid, that one. And we can definitely throw in some extra mission requirements. Oh, well, just uh, we'll add those later on. And then over here, we can actually make it so that it fits really nicely in the middle. some wood corners and that actually sort of completes the framework of the whole build uh, just just like that and with the last bits of uh, of grid we want to build up here get that sorted and as we get that sorted we will also see that on top we have a much more durable and up here you can see that they are now actually blue and green up here up top so this is really nice that we uh, we can do it. There we go. They are very uh, easily supported. Or yeah, so they're, they're ready. It's uh, making a. It's just making it more durable. But it also illustrates that this is the extent, uh, pretty much the extent to what we can we can build. And now we have the framework. We now need to start working on sort of the interior and also the decoration. Well, first we'll get some dragon heads out here because why not? If you want to build out from a location, then the way you can't really do it like this. Just try to attach it out there so build some planks here they can sort of half overlap with each other and then you can go out and get that angle to point it inwards to what you needed and now that everything on the outside is built it should be pretty good and we now need to grab some stuff to work on the inside as well because that's a lot of work on uh, on the inside we need to do uh, the first thing i want to do is well make sure that we get some uh, some light and not just light but also some flames that we can uh, work on so i'm using these iron rods here and uh, again using more iron for decoration here uh, this is basically just going to be uh, I don't know lamp posts um, just this is for hanging my uh, uh, these bracers for from and that looks good it looks like it's red and it looks a uh, kind of uh, dangerous but they don't fall down and that's the only thing that matters and that gives us a nice cozy atmosphere in here and it also gives us both the shelter and uh, the fireplace that we need for resting. And then uh, we built the throne. I'm going to build the iron throne in here. Uh, we're going to be getting a bed, of course. We're going to get the dragon bed. That's the best uh, bed there is. We're going to be looking at sort of using the jute, uh, red jute curtains that we found in the frost caves. We can use that to make sort of just, just a little... Uh, de decoration and sort of separation because we want it to be one big room but we uh, also just kind of want a little bit of privacy when we're falling asleep here 
The, now it's just putting in things that give us uh, comfort, like mistletoe, for example. That's a great place to put it in up here. Uh, the armor stand gives us uh, that. And uh, uh, table, you need a chair thing. That's the throne. And a, ch a table thing, that's, well, the table. And we can get some banners. Doesn't matter how many banners, but at least there's one banner. That's good. And uh, we'll be getting as many banners as we can of various different colors. Uh, so we'll just hang them up here. Just getting a, that nice thing. The cartographer's table doesn't do anything, but I think it's a nice decoration piece. Uh, we can get a treasure chest uh, as well. And we can get... Uh, that doesn't really give us anything, but it just looks nice. A little treasure chest here. And maybe even get some money stacked up next to it. It's always nice to have on your bed table some, uh, some bits, I guess. And the Yule tree, because it's Yuletide and it gives extra, <laughs> extra decoration, we get... Uh, these carpets unfortunately the carpets don't stack anymore so if you have one carpet or four cap four different carpets it's going to be the same uh it, that's just the way it is so at this point we uh, we will just continue with a lot of extra decoration and then see how that goes and this is the final build so it's uh this is what it looks like i put an oak tree in front because there's a nice little square that we didn't use for anything so let's have a look at what it looks like on the inside when it's all finished and all looking good out here i like uh and i really like the looks of it uh, how it the, the essence of having one giant room and having it really majestic is absolutely working. If we just have a glance around, we have our bedroom corner with money and the armor stand and the bed, of course. We have the throne uh, flanked by some jute carpets because it looks good and uh, some, uh, yeah, some dragon heads as well and a bit of gold lying in the background and then some trophies in the back. I didn't know it's the bone mass trophy because it's kind of ugly. Cartographer's table, some flas some horns of mead and stuff like that banners all the way around as well as trophies from every uh, region the meadows the black forest the mountains and the swamp here so when we get the get to the plains we'll also be getting some of those in here and it just looks like really nice and cozy of course we also uh, since we are just getting started on the plains the first thing we built was a hot tub so we can become a hot tub streamer as is so popular these days uh, but i'm really uh, very happy with our our build here and if I do that, yes, I punched it, punched it. That was totally not what I wanted. There we go. This is what I wanted. I wanted to sit here and just to uh, relax and enjoy. This is our, it gives us plus 15, uh, uh, plus 15 comfort. And that's just, uh, I guess that's about as you can get these days uh, without, well, I don't even know what I can do to get more than 15, but uh, hey, that's a, uh, if you have ideas, then uh, get it. And, and I can't really just put a maple in here as would be kind of the other things that you could do anyway if you have enjoyed it then uh, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more valheim and other content here on the channel lots more coming in 2023 uh, i will also be streaming this continuously on uh, twitch so come on over to twitch tv slash nilaus and uh, join in the fun as we are exploring and uh, uh, learning the new things we are in the planes right now on the twitch stream so also you can spe expect their planes related video here uh, once uh, we get uh, done with planes, then we're going to the Mistlands, which is a new zone, so there will also definitely be more content for that. So, uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, well, you know the drill. And thank you all for watching. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.